Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing tonight? <sighs> well, I'm landed. I'm home. I'm home. My fur baby, they did okay. I came home to a mess. The dog room and the laundry room, I have a, we have these, um, cut, uh, the little carts. What are they called? Caddies. Pamela Dorian Crochet, she calls them yarn caddies. Well, I have three caddies. One is right next to where I sit and crochet, my little corner there. It's full of all kinds of stuff. So if I need something, it's right there. I dump everything on it. And occasionally I have to clean it out. Well, with all the boggy blankets and stuff, one of my carts is a sewing cart. It has a lot of material that I have bought in over the past year, two years. I mean, it has all kinds of things and and it was very well organized it had all the material like in rows and had the the bands on them you know <laughs> like my yarn has bands these are material bands and i was kind of, kind of quite proud of the collection that i had <laughs> yeah um i still have some <laughs> anyways i walk in the door there's material all over the yarn room. Anything in that caddy that, I mean, um, you know, elastic, ripped out of the package, chewed up. Some patches, you know, little patches you could sew on stuff. Those had holes in them. They literally chewed on the material, like, like, ruined the material because the holes all the way through. Now, not all of it's ruined. I do have another caddy with material on it in the other bedroom but yeah so that was them telling me they're not really happy with me i knew i'd get punished one way or another but um i could think of worse things to come home to <laughs> so tyler said they were really good so but yeah it was a mess i thought about videoing it and showing my doggy drama but Lynette and her husband, um, they were following us home from the coast. And when I saw this mess, I was like, I gotta clean it up before they get here. I didn't want them to see the, the, the mess because it was all in here. They drug everything to their bed. They have a bed in front, front of my fireplace there. It wasn't so bad in my yarn room, but yeah, there was ball bands, not ball bands, but material bands. You know, the little, the quarter, you guys know what they're called. Miss Billy knows. But anyways, they come in a band. You get them at Walmart. I forgot what you call them. But anyways, yeah, because I want to, I do want to make bags. You know, I want to do everything. And I just, there's not enough time to do everything. Well, tonight I've been working on my friend Chapat. This is the yarn attic. I'm almost done. I put a rubber band in my hat. So once I'm done, I'm going to, take some pictures and put it on TikTok. Yeah, if it fits. It looks like it's getting kind of big. But I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail. You know, so. Anyway, so I'm almost done with that. And if you guys are not familiar with Juan the Yarn Attic, which if you're not familiar, you're living under a rock. <laughs> He's um, new to our community, but he's rocking the world out here. Everybody loves him, but he has this wheel he spins and all his friends give him their favorite stitch and he puts everybody's stitch on there. I have a stitch on there or two. Anyways, he spins it and whatever it lands on, that's the stitch that he'll do for that week. I think And first he has to spin how many rows he has, like three rows, four rows, you know, so I don't know. This week was... I'm not sure if it was three or four rows. I can't remember. But anyways, I, um, I'm i almost done. I'm getting there. But I put a ponytail in here. I've been threatening to only do headbands or ear warmers with the, with these um, crochet alongs. It's a crochet along. It's, it's a lot of fun. If you're not part of it, go over there. It, it's I think it's fun. He's making it fun. I like how he's, we're all a part of it we're not just given a pattern. Our name is on there and, you know, I don't know, he's just made it a lot of fun. 
I think. It's different. It's, you know, it's like gambling, tossing dice. You just never know what, what you're going to get, you know? I think it's kind of cool. So, I know it's cool. So, but anyway, so I haven't finished this. So, I'm going to work on that. I have a bunch of whips, but I'm trying to do, I'm trying to be a part of that and stay on top of it. I'm behind on my squares, but that's nothing now. Because he has a crochet along. He has a blanket crochet along, and he also has two squares a week. I think, is it this week's the last week? I'm a little behind. I've been on vacation. So, and I started a new colors because I want to make, every week he spins, no, he does a new stitch. And every week he does two stitches for this crochet along. And after six weeks, we put the squares together and make a blanket. Well, I decided I'm going to make two blankets. I have two nurses I promised blankets to. Wait, yellow and... I have it right here. Okay. One nurse wants black and yellow. The other one wants black and white. So I'm, I'm doing a different stitch. So I got to do two of each. So I got to do eight a week. So I'm a little behind because I started over with black. I'm on black and yellow. And um, I haven't started the black and white one yet. <laughs> yeah. So if I don't, that's fine. There's a few things. Lynette left this morning. They got up and um, they headed home. Well, they're going to do, a, I guess, sightseeing. Lynette wants to retire to Florida. And I want her to retire to Florida also. We were over in Nina's, Linnean's uh, neck of the woods. She lives out in Silver Springs in Ocala. It's about an hour from me, a little over an hour, but um, looked at property out there. My husband took them riding around my area of the different properties that are available and the different price ranges. I live in Alachua County. Property is a little bit on the high side it's a it's a nice area to live in but just the property prices are just crazy right now so but anyways we had fun at the beach and then last night Lynette's been craving Kentucky fried chicken and I had one right up the road so my husband and her husband last night went and picked up a big bucket of chicken so she got to eat some Kentucky fried chicken while she was here I'm not sure if she has one where she lives I can't remember. I'm thinking she did not, not work exactly where she lives. But anyways, last night before I passed out on her, because I'm really good at crocheting and falling asleep, we decided to make JoJo's Bunny Rabbit. Um, if you don't know Jo, it's Jo's Web. She's one of my Zoom sisters, but she likes to make, like, she makes patterns, like froggy, leggy froggy, and um, she has, like, a heart leggy heart and she has a bunny rabbit pattern and it's a leggy bunny rabbit pattern so last night i made my first leggy bunny rabbit <laughs> but this is joe joe's webs pattern <laughs> is that not stinking cute and it has a little tail i should have did it in white but i was this is i'm not real good at amigurumis but i want to practice the nose isn't the best, but I thought the eyes were really cute. So I think I did pretty good. This is like my third or fourth amigurumi ever. So I think I did pretty good. So I was having fun. So then I decided, well, let's do some more bunny rabbits. So I did the peep, the peep bunny rabbits. Is that not cute? Cause I got some new yarn. This yarn that I used is the new Big Twist Posh Yarn. Do I have some here? Okay, no, that's not. Oh, I have it right here. It, so it's connected to it. Anyways, it's 100% polyester. It doesn't fray like, was it this one? No, I used Posh with this. This was really nice. It held together nicely. So, I threw a couple skeins at Lynette. I said, these are better. Let's, let's, so she made bunnies and I made bunnies. She made one more bunny than me and I was jelly. So today I made another bunny. 
<laughs> this one I use bigger yarn. This yarn is ice, uh, not ice yarn, it's Timu yarn. The whole thing just made one bunny. I'm not sure what I paid for it. Probably not a lot, probably about four bucks, three or four bucks. But yeah, I'm not gonna buy yarn. I won't buy yarn from them because I just, everything I've ordered, I wasn't real happy with. Now I've seen other people order some yarn and they liked what they got. Maybe I just don't know how to order their, their yarn, but. I thought the, the peeps were really cute. So I'm, I wanna make some more with this posh yarn. So this is for Gunner, this is for Kirkland, and I know he's gonna want one that's bigger, so I need to make <laughs> a couple more. So, but I was having fun making those and in between working on this hat. So I'm gonna finish this, I only have a few more rows to go just I had company and in between I started on this lap I woke up this morning like 4 30 this morning and I started this hat I saw before I fell asleep last night Juan put out a new a new hat tutorial and so I picked it up this morning and this is I worked on it, excuse me <clears throat> from four o'clock until I fell asleep <laughs> uh probably about I don't know an hour later. I'm really bad about that crocheting and falling asleep. So this afternoon I was busy. I started working on, he's got his favorite, the, what does he call it? It's like a front post crown he does. It's real pretty. It's real pretty. And he does it up to the count. He gets 60 stitches. And then we did what did we do? Oh, we did a star stitch. I'm not sure if that was next. Oh, we did half double crochets and then the star stitch and then half, maybe a half double crochet again. And then I'm not sure. I can't remember, but um, we did the bean stitch. I've never done the bean stitch. So this is the first time and you turn your work, but see, I hate bobbles. It's not as bad as bobbles. So you only have to yarn over twice. So that wasn't too terribly bad. And then two double crochets in each. Skip one, two double crochets. So I'm not sure if I did that right. I'm a little concerned that I, I didn't skip enough. I was guessing it. <laughs> I watched the video up to this point. So, but I may have to frog this last row. I may have to skip. I know it's due to skip one. So yeah, I did. I did it right. I did it right. So I haven't counted the stitch. It's supposed to be 60, but it, doesn't, it looks like it's, it's growing. I don't know, but I got a rubber band in there. So I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail and put it on and, and take some pictures. I'm having fun with TikTok. I'm not real good at it, but <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> I might post something twice because I'm not sure if it posts. I just, I'm, I'm not sure how to check things. Like once I post a video, it's like, where did it go? How do I look at it? How do I know it posted? <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. So, I mean, I probably need to watch some videos. Now, you guys are probably like, Nancy, where's your card again? I've got it. It's right here. And I just have one sleeve to do. And I'm thinking about changing it up. I don't know. I'm really, the pucker really is bothering me. So I think I'm going to undo it and then do it again. I've got plenty of yarn and plenty of time. I've, I've got two more skis. Yeah. I, I wish there were more videos of people who who have been playing with the granny squares. I just, I'm having fun and there's not a lot. There's some, but not a lot. I want to make something else, but I'm not sure what I want to make. So, because I got a lot of yarn. I bought some blues while I was away. I have a video of us in, me and, in Daytona and the Joann's and in a Michaels. I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna talk through some of it, but there's gonna be a lot of music playing. It's because they play music and I don't wanna get dinged. 
So I've put background music and if it's too noisy, I take our, our noise out and just put the music. And I think the music is kind of a, kind of a gentle music. It is music from InShot. Um, Cause I can upload music, but it takes forever on YouTube, on my computer. So, but, oh, you know what I didn't give you was the information on this yarn. The yarn that I'm using for the hat is Fantasy, um, it's Hobie yarn. It's a jumbo cake. And the color is color one, lot 3890. Now, this yarn, I love it. I just think it's so expensive at Hobie. And you can probably find it on ice yarn. But I made this hat out of it. But I bought some more and I bought the purple. You remember the purple hat I made? I bought some more of that. And it was smaller skeins, so you got to be careful when you order. If you think you're getting a deal, you're getting a smaller, smaller cake. These are the big jumbo ones, but they have some I've showed you guys that are half the size of this. Same here. So, but I love this yarn. It reminds me of Premier Puzzle. It's just beautiful, bright colors. So I use this today. I have some more um, Hobie yarn. I want to start using that yarn. And I think Juan's friendship hats, I think they're a great idea to use them. So they're like a number, of, no, that's a number four. I thought it was maybe a number five, but if it is, it's a thin. It's a number four. I think it's a number four. But anyways, I, I love the yarn. I so like come it. here, Zeus. Come here, Zuzi. But my babies miss me. Here. My fur babies miss me, huh? Didn't you miss me? Huh? I missed you. I missed you. Yes, I did. Um, everybody had to get treated for fleas tonight because Susie started itching at the condo where we were staying. And they had other people, they had like, there was quite a few dogs that people walked. Anyways, the other night, Susie was scratching, scratching, scratching. She was annoying me. I put her off, off the bed. She was like chewing and scratching. And I told Tim, I said, maybe she's allergic to something you ate. She ate and he says, nothing's changed. And um, I, looked on, I looked at her, I didn't see any fleas. So, and she's a black dog too, but anyways, I got home today and I gave her some Benadryl because she's like scratching so bad. Anyways, my youngest, Tyler, came home and I told him, I said, I don't know what's up with her scratching. He picks her up like a baby. And he looks at her and he goes, Mom, she's got fleas. And I looked at her belly and she had adult fleas on her belly. Poor thing. So I bathed her. Dawn is the best. It's kind of dry on the skin. I bathed her in Dawn soap, me and Tim bathed her in the kitchen sink <laughs> like a baby. She was really good. But anyways, Dawn, we found dead fleas. But anyways, and then I blow dried her a little bit. She, she's pretty good. She did, she's not crazy about the blow dryer. She wants to bite it. But um, she did pretty good. So we had to bathe her. So you got one flea on one dog. You know there's a flea on another dog. So everybody's got flea medicine in their system. You know I haven't had to treat my dogs with flea medicine for over two years. No year. About a year. No, it's almost two years. These people that moved in next door, it's about two years they've been here. They moved in. Their dogs were running the fence. I think they had fleas. And my dogs got fleas. So I treated them. And I hadn't treated them since. Because I don't take them anywhere and they get groomed and if you don't have fleas, you really don't have to worry about it. But when you take your animals somewhere else or bring animals in, you know, that's where you run a risk of picking up fleas. So I was like in panic mode. So everybody got treated. <laughs> I don't want fleas. So, yeah. So that's doggy drama for today. Yeah, they tore up my material. <laughs> Susie brought home fleas. Well, if you lay with dogs, you kind of get bit by fleas, right? Or something like that. <laughs> but 
Other than that, I'm glad to be home, but I miss, I already miss Lynette. I love her so much. She's so, she's so sweet and she's good for me. Cause you know, I'm feeling better, but I still, I still have a moment in the afternoon where I get really tired and she kept me going. Yeah, but I still pass out on her every now and then. <laughs> Just, my body's telling me I need to rest, so. And it's always around 4.30, 5 o'clock, I start getting that, oh, I need to take a nap. See, when I used to work, I'd come home and I'd take like a 15 minute power nap, 20 minute power nap, bam, I was ready to go. I can't do that anymore. It's like an hour, two. <laughs> so, Charm Grammy bought me one of the, it's like a, it's like a store rack. She bought a couple for her yarn room and she brought me one. I wish I had another one. I wish I had a big one, but it fit perfect right between these two yarn, these yarn shelves. So, but I put all my new yarn in there that I bought while I was gone. Yeah, I bought yarn. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to bagging up yarn. <laughs> I know you guys enjoy that. And I got a huge basket over there I need to box up. But. I just walked in the door, so don't even ask me yet. I've got to, the first thing I got to take care of, and that's going to be tomorrow, because I, I didn't even, I, I didn't even want to deal with it. I have a list here of all my winners. Um, first, I went in panic mode. I'm like, I made a copy of all the 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 uh, picture of the patterns in all those kits I bought for a giveaway for the Boggy Creek participants. But I, um, and I wrote everybody that won on that particular piece of paper with the picture of the kit that they won. I don't know what I did with them, but I had to go back and watch the video. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got it all written down here, so I'm good to go. So if you have not claimed your prize and I called your name out on the unboxing, well, it was at Boggy Creek, it was our live, and I did a second video with the winners, so, so you need to claim your prize. You have 10 days because I'm gonna pull another name. So I'm gonna have Billy pull another name. She's got all the names, so, but yeah. I'm not trying to be mean, but I just want it to, I wanna get it done. So there. <laughs> I hide, this is a nice thing about roll tops. You could just close the lid and hide it. You see all my scraps? Uh, you guys would be so proud of me. Lynette would be. I stuffed this with that yarn that I cut off of that granny square, the granny squares. I, I frogged that. I don't know what color it is, but it's not a pretty color. It looks like it's dirty. This yarn. It looks like it's dirty, but I used it as stuffing. So I recycled it. And then Lynette, last night, she was using, I know she used scraps. I have a huge scrap bin here, and I have all kinds of stuff in here. And uh, I noticed that she was running out of scraps to stuff hers. You know, she made like, she likes amigurumi. She made a little unicorn, a stinking cute little unicorn. But anyways, so I made her a little bag of, of poly, polyfill and... Um, some of my scrap yarn so she could stuff some of her her emmys her emigurumis so i spoiled her as much as i possibly could and her hubby we had our husbands get along great it's just i mean really good it's awesome we had a great time they they stayed the night last night you know and tim and roy just they went Went and got dinner for us, you know, and hang out together, which is nice. My husband doesn't hang out with anybody, and that, that worries me sometimes, other than me, you know? So, but yeah. But, oh, I was going to show you that purple, this purple yarn came like this. And it, it's very soft, but it doesn't tell you how much is there. And I know you guys are going to say, well, weigh it. Well, I don't, I don't have a scale. I bought a small scale, but it doesn't work. Something's wrong with it. 
So, but yeah, I might be lucky if I can do one of these with that. So I thought I was gonna, you know what I thought I would try? Make some um, hair ties. I did make some hair ties for Kirkland. I don't know what I did with them. I'm still not completely unpacked. I am, but I'm not. Everything, not everything is put in the place it belongs. I've got a couple bags in my bathroom that belong in the bedroom. But anyways, I bought some Premier Yarns. The Chunky Neon. Yes, I did. And is that? Yeah, I used this. Oh, dummy me. I did use this. I made this bunny with the Parfait Chunky Neon. It's nice yarn, but it, it does fray a little bit. Not quite as bad as the Snuggles from Michaels, but they may have new stuff that doesn't shed as bad. This stuff I bought when it was on sale, it was the old stuff, but anyways. So yeah, I did use this. This yarn is super bulky number six. It is um, Premier Parfait Chunky Neons, 131 yards, 120 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. But you know, I love those colors. It's so pretty. And then I got these. I don't know why I thought it was posh. This, why was I thinking it was posh? Or no, this is posh. This one is posh. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Get my yarn straight. So I made this one with the Big Twist Posh, which was 213, 233 yards. And I mean, it was like under five bucks. I got it for 40% off and 20% on top of it or 25% on top of it. Was it Joanne's or was that Michael's? No, that was, mm, these were 40% off. Michael's had a killer sale too that I got, that I took advantage of. But this is posh. It's a number five bulky. Hook size is an L, US L. You can machine wash, but you're gonna have to lay it flat to dry. But I love this. I made that. And then that, eh. okay, we use the Premier for this. And then this is also Premier. Isn't that pretty? This is really nice yarn. It is nice yarn, but I love the colors. And then this color is called Proton Purple. It looks more pink to me, but what's this color? Highlighter. That's easy. And then the orange. is but Lynette tried I think she tried this she liked this but she liked this better so yeah because we wanted to use neon last night I'm trying to find the color name blazing a blaze orange so but isn't that pretty you guys know I love these colors. So, I wonder what this is connected to. Nothing. And Lynette, she brought me a basket for my yarn. Yeah, you can never have enough baskets. So, but I'm down to one. I could probably get another three. And then also I want to share with you guys, I did a little bit of a giveaway. We had a live the other night at the beach and we went to uh, Duchet Yarns and M Melissa over there, the owner, she gave, gave me something to give to put in a giveaway. Wasn't that sweet? We did a tour of her yarn room, but, um, I got a winner for that, and I got a winner for this, and a winner for this. I'm not sure if I gave them both together. I got them all written down. I'm going to have to watch the video to see what it is what again. <laughs> I can't read my notes. 
But I know these are given. They're, they're, they're gifts. They're already been given away. So. Yeah. So as soon as the dust settles, I want to do a nice giveaway. Um, I have reached my 5,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody who has joined my channel. I want to thank Juan. He's given me a lot of shout outs. But yeah, I welcome everybody. I know a lot of you are new and I'm just me. I love yarn. I collect yarn. I crochet. I've learned to knit. And actually, I want to share my knitting project. I'm getting better at knitting. I've made two sweaters, but I knitted, let me share with you. I'm so proud of this sweater. And I actually can wear it because it's cold out. I don't remember the name of it, but I used woolies. And yes, I've got some ends in there, but I'm so proud of this sweater. Hang on. I am so proud of it. I mean, I knitted this sweater. And you guys, I took you on that journey. It was a school of hard knocks. I did a lot of frogging and knitting and frogging and knitting, but it turned out so good. And I learned a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things that I did that I would not do again. So, but yeah, and I also got buttons. I just started, so I can't put it on because it's in a circle, but I can share with you what the ribbing looks like. So, this is Devocation Yarn by Lion Brand. The pattern that I created, I made this pattern. I actually have a pattern created. It's in my description box if you're at all interested. It's actually a pocket shawl. And I turned it into a sweater. And um, I haven't made, ironically, this is a pocket shawl pattern of mine, and I haven't made any pockets for the sweater, but I will. If I have enough yarn, I'm playing yarn chicken. If anybody has this yarn, this color in dedication, I'll buy it from you. Can you believe I don't have, I have one skein, and I think I might have enough, but I'm not sure. But I would wish I had another scheme. But if it doesn't work out, I just won't have pockets. But see how I'm doing the ribbing? Isn't that pretty? And um, what is going on here? Uh, okay. Yeah, see, I just started, started it. But anyways... So here's the bottom ribbing. Isn't that pretty? Isn't this, isn't this beautiful? I put it in timeout because I have an issue with sleeves, but I'm getting better. But these, I don't like big fat sleeves. So my sleeves are a bit thin for most people, but I like them kind of snug. But that's me, but isn't that pretty? How all that color, that gray and that green, it just turned out so pretty. I'm so proud of this. And I'm almost done. I've got, I've got a couple more rows to go. I've got, wait, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on the seventh row. Let me see how many I did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten so eight nine ten i got three more rows on this collar and then i gotta start on the wrist or the sleeve and then if i have enough yarn i'm gonna knit a small pocket with ribbing on the top this is how much yarn i got left and it was a new scheme when i started the ribbing so we'll see we will see and i do have another sweater in here a knit project i'm not going to show you guys until i finish a couple other things so but yeah 
So I'm proud of this one too. But I feel good that I made a couple Annie's. I'm not real good at it. I hope I get better. So I don't think I've made any progress on this sweater since I showed you the last time. But I don't like this pucker at all. Don't like it at all. And I think that I need to make the sleeve wider. I think I need to definitely put a white strip down the middle or down. I did the bottom, but yeah, I don't like that. So I think I'm going to undo it. So it's going to delay me a little bit, but that's okay. There's no rush. I got other sweaters on my hooks and needles. So, but I would had hoped I would have been done with this by now, but I was on vacation, ran into an issue and I didn't want to have to think too hard while I was on vacation. If you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from. I was on vacation, I wanted to chill and not think too hard. So, I did work on a pattern, but it was a pattern. I worked on that sweater a little bit. Then I worked on this pattern. I don't know if I have the pattern with me. I've got it memorized now. So, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere here. I hope it is. But, isn't that pretty? So, I've got one, two, three, four. I've only got six done. So, um, and then I've got, I think I already showed you this, the one Valentine. Isn't that pretty? But I want to do a bunch. It's not Valentine. I, I like the color. It's pink and white. I want to make a, a boggy blanket. And then I showed Lynette an old whip the UFO, and she was like, Nancy, she goes, you've already made, it. it's almost done, you just gotta put it together. And it's with that fleck yarn. So she kind of gave me an idea. I was thinking I had to make more squares. The squares are like this, and they're, it's like blue, and then it's trimmed in white. And they're really small, but they're beautiful. And I did like a row blue, a row pink. I think I'm gonna break it up, I think, I don't know. But she said, just use those colors because I have a ton of those colors. And once I get those all together, you know, it's not gonna be very big. Then I can go round and round with each color, like in a double crochet, you know, in a simple, or even a single crochet, it doesn't matter. But I didn't think about that. I didn't quite use up all this parfait, but yeah. But so, I've got a UFO that Lynette thinks I should finish. She did encourage me. I was in, she slept in the in the uh, green room and you can't help but see what's in there, right? <laughs> so, yeah, she was like, you need to finish this. And she spread it out on the bed and told me what I needed to do. And she's really good about putting granny squares together. So they're not necessarily granny squares, but they are squares. Yeah, I guess they kind of are. They're, they're, they're a motif. And um, I need to finish it. And before I get off of here, um, there's a channel, um, well, you guys know, I love all my Zoom sisters. Jo, she's got a bunch of new patterns. Charm Grammy, she's my partner in crime. Along with Nina's Knots Crochet now, they're my boggy blanket team. You know, they're leading up the team with me to help me. Uh, I couldn't do it without them. I couldn't have done it without my husband. He was amazing. He stepped up this year. He went and got a trailer. He's like, you're not going to take all those in that truck. We're going to put it in a trailer. Do it right. And he went and got a trailer and he loaded it up. Most of it up while I was gone. Goofing off. I don't know what I was doing. But, um, yeah. And Juan, the yarn addict. Um, thank you, Juan, for supporting my channel. He's 
really helped me grow and uh and i i'm very grateful and if you don't know juan juan the art addict you need to go over there i'll link him in my description box go over there and check out his life he 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 takes care of his mother and she's absolutely adorable and she loves to crochet and she's crocheting me a blanket. I bought the yarn for her and she's making it for me. I think, I think she needs to keep it. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank everybody out there. That's, that's been on my team and have supported me and helped me in whatever way. But I know a lot of you guys do a lot for me and I, I notice it. I, I hope you guys all realize that. I do appreciate it and I do notice it. And there was one other person I wanted to talk about. Oh gosh, it left my mind. There's something else I wanted to talk about. Shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe I'll rewatch this video and I'll remember and put a little piece in there. But, um,. Darn it. Here. I'll try not to break my stand, but yeah, that's where they are. But see that right there? Where is it? Wait. That right there, that is Red Heart, the teal ombre. I bought that at Walmart at Daytona. My store doesn't have that pretty teal. I was watching Ginger the Yarn Geek, and I wasn't paying attention to the date. I'm thinking it's a new video, but she shows a bunch of what she's been doing lately. She's been like um, Angela over at My Precious Yarnery. They haven't been doing a lot of videos, which stinks, because um, you guys are going to fall off the algorithm. <laughs> but uh, they have been focusing on making blankets or patterns or tutorials they've been focusing more on their crochet and oh my god ginger the beautiful blankets she showed a bunch of blankets different granny squares gorgeous go over to her channel you probably are already subscribed to her channel but i enjoyed her video today of all the blankets that she shared i almost want to watch it again because i had to get up a couple times during that video and then also Angela, she's on a cardigan kick. My girl over in Canada. Hey, Angela. Love you, girl. <laughs> we, we talk frequently, <laughs> but I wish she would do more videos. She, this week, she's been pretty good because I've been on vacation. Somebody's got to put on some videos. She's a Zoom sister. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, that's all I've got for tonight this video is an hour and 17 minutes long it's yeah really long i'll probably have to chop it up a little bit so or make it two videos i'm not sure we'll see anyways i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow Mwah. have a wonderful evening